And looky, looky, who got up early with us as well this morning? Jim oh Spencer. Star power now in the morning show. <laughs> we mean business. Jim is out there helping to kick off our annual fan drive benefiting family elder care. It's so good to see you up this morning. It is so good to see you all. It is uh, that morning again, maybe the nicest fanfare morning that we've had in all of the years that I've done it, thanks to the uh, dew points being a little bit lower. Thank you, Rich Siegel. Uh, it's feeling pretty good out here uh, today, but we all know that, uh, as you saw in Rich's forecast, we're going to be up into the 90s today. It gets even hotter this weekend, and summer isn't even here yet officially. It's still spring, and so we've got a long road ahead for those in our community, as you all mentioned, that don't have air conditioning or uh, feel like they can't afford to run their air conditioner. This event today, Fans from Fans Friday, is truly uh, a life-saving event in our community. We are here at a new location this year, Shady Grove Cafe. As you can see uh, behind me, the setup is ongoing at this hour, but here in about 10 minutes, we are ready to start accepting your donations. And to talk more about that with me this morning is Director of Development for Family Elder Care, Brittany Bays. Brittany, good to see you good again. To see you too, Jim. For those maybe not familiar with our summer fan drive, uh, tell us a little bit about the history behind it and why it's so critical for our community. Yeah, we've been doing the fan drive for 29 years now, and it started because we got calls from seniors who couldn't afford to run their air conditioners, and they were overheating in their homes, couldn't sleep through the nights, feeling ill. And even today, 50% of the seniors who receive fans from the summer fan drive report feeling sick from the heat. So this really is a life-saving program, and a fan, it's a really simple intervention. You take two box fans, you get circulation going through your home, and it lowers your core body temperature by eight degrees. And it really does save lives, especially in these brutal summers uh, that we have here in Central Texas. And today is the most important day of the year for our summer fan drive. We hope to fill this up with a thousand fans, is that right? One thousand fans. So we're filling the Grove, we're challenging the community. It's empty now, but um, here shortly we'll be giving out free tacos and coffee for anyone who makes a fan or funds donation. We hope to collect one thousand physical fans and raise one hundred and eighty thousand dollars to buy more fans um, to get us through the summer. And that will help us reach 12,000 people in 14 counties in Central Texas. Yes, yeah, not just Austin, 14 counties surrounding Austin. So you're doing a great deal of good for a whole lot of folks if you right. support us today. There's so many ways to support us. If you can't make it out here and bring a brand new fan, uh, bring funds. That's we'll right. take a, a check, credit card, whatever you got this morning. Give you a breakfast taco and some coffee. You're looking at the events for today. We're here until 1 p.m. All kinds of fun, too, for the whole family and the kids this morning. Bring them out. Uh, and then this afternoon, we're at High Five on Anderson Lane, right. so plenty of opportunities. 4 to 7 p.m. for happy hour. All right, and if you can't make it out in person, we really like to see you. Caxon's going to be here in a little while. You can donate online, summerfandrive.org. You'll find that link on kxan.com. We're going to have a lot more coming up over on KNVA beginning at 7. We hope to see you then. Thank you, Brittany, and good Thanks, luck. Jim. Appreciate you guys. Back to you. All right, Jim, thank you very much.